what's today's date? June 1st. June 1st, I'm an official New York resident. <laughs> what's up welcome back to my channel last we talked was when Jack left which is last night <laughs> this is day one of not having him and getting used to this new normal for a little bit I think we're gonna be okay had my cry session last night a little this morning it's okay I woke up I was productive I went to the gym I actually met a friend who used to go to my gym um, in Cincinnati she was in Nashville so that was really cool I saw her got lunch and it worked out so perfect I was like in this moment I just need a friend I need a human being <laughs> and when she texted me I was like oh this is like thank you universe right now so it's good catching up with her got to go to burn with her and then um, yeah we found one in Nashville so that worked out well I thought my last burn was gonna be uh, last last Saturday in Murfreesboro but turns out I ended up finding one here stuck to my little burn life and got to go with a friend so that worked out and then we got lunch and then I found a cute like shopping plaza so I shopped my sadness away as in just like walked forever I bought like one shirt so I'm thinking about it I'm like I'm going to these malls and I'm going to like all these little boutiques and I'm like where am I putting it like my whole car is packed I got one shirt and it was cute and I think it'll be a nice little shirt for work and it was on sale so all good things and now it's about 4 36 I'm gonna go back to the hotel I may like walk on the treadmill I'm not sure just trying to pass some time I edited some stuff for the vlog and then I am gonna pick up my dad at midnight his flight lands at BNA Nashville Airport at midnight so picking him up and then we are going then we're gonna go to bed wake up and do this first half of the drive. So we're splitting it up. We're going to drive to Virginia, take a break, like sleep in a hotel, and then do the next part of the drive on Friday. So, or Thursday, Thursday. I'm excited to finally get to our place and start decorating with what I have in the car. And sorry, this is so loud. I was really stuck in traffic. And then as soon as I started vlogging, um, of course we start going, but yeah, I'll check back in. <clears throat> I'll have my dad on the vlog. You guys are going to get a lot of him, my number one fan. Uh, so, yeah, I think he's been on the vlog a couple times before. But, yeah, he's he's funny. He's good people. So, he'll be doing the drive with me, and I will check back in when I get it. I swear my family or my close friends have just had the worst luck with traveling. It is currently 3.23 in the morning, and... I'm just now picking my dad up from the Nashville airport. His flight was supposed to land at midnight. So there was apparently some bad weather and yeah, now he's landing. Sorry, he just called me, so I had to answer that. But yeah, it's been a weird night because I my phone is just like, I set an alarm for like 2 a.m. and then I get a text from him and he's like, actually not landing until three. And then like, it was just an ongoing process. So finally here, so ready to pick him up and then somehow going to have to manage putting his bag back here he's probably gonna be so mad at me because he told me not to pack too much here he is now i gotta put my bag back there <laughs> you gotta put it on the other side you're on the vlog good morning it is wednesday and we're starting the drive but first we're at breakfast at first watch got my kale tonic and my dad's here where he rested and we're alive. Look at him, so glued to his telephone. Nothing to say, huh? Mapping out our destiny. We're trying to figure out our halfway point. He thought he booked a hotel, and I don't think he did. Yay. We are on the first hour of this drive. My dad and I are now sitting in traffic. We're doing 10 hours to Pennsylvania, and then we're gonna do the the last three and a half hours tomorrow. So we are gonna stay in the hotel. I asked my dad, I'm like, come on, let's vlog. And he said he wasn't in the mood. Look at him. <laughs> what else do you have to do? There's nothing better to do at this moment. Shh. My uncle got shh 
tattooed right here on his finger and it is so funny and now he comes up to everyone in our family and he goes shh we <laughs> tell him to send a picture so i can post it on the vlog um do you have a picture of him oh my god that'd be funny we ended up getting all of my dad's stuff in the back thank god because i was really worried about adding his luggage and then um his backpack and my big backpack and then my makeup bag lots of stuff so we are down right bad and then we started driving like we left the hotel this morning um in Asheville, and my trunk was open and we started driving and like thank god a man stopped and was like hey your trunk he like beeped at us and he was like trunk's open and i ran out at a red light and shut it because it we all of my stuff would have been everywhere if had that man not say something so yeah that's how the ride's going so far we've made it I, maybe an hour at best. So it says we're gonna get there probably around like 10 o'clock tonight, but that doesn't include any of the stops we're gonna make because obviously we're gonna eat lunch and dinner. We went to first watch this morning, food was so good. And I'm like, I'm like baking in the sun right now. And my air is just kind of going in and out. It's kind of cold. It, it's cold when I'm driving and then it's not. So I don't know if it's like, a, is it a Freon thing? Could be. Could be. check that before it I know, Jack did literally everything to my car except, um, but we didn't have enough time to check the Freon or do anything like that, so. It's like blowing hot air. This is a nightmare. <laughs> We are in hour seven of the 10 hour drive for today. I've done a pretty terrible job at vlogging, partially because my counterpart here has been napping a lot, left me dry, so I've been driving most of it. Now he's up and still not talkative. Dad, I thought you were gonna be the star of the vlog and you, you, you're not even talking. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we already did that part. Get a tattoo right there too. He want, my dad wants to get the tattoo my uncle has where it's on your finger and it says shh. It's not funny, but we're at the part of the drive. We're in, we're, we just passed Roanoke, but there's so many mountains. Oh, of course, like right as I say that, you can't see anything. Oh, it's Ronick. It's not Ronick. Are you kidding me? It's Roanoke. It's, it's not Ronick. It's not Ronick. <laughs> Someone help my father. Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see it, but there is pretty mountains. That's a hill. That's a hill, not a mountain. My dad's like, show that part. Hey, he literally wanted me to show you guys this. Oh, there's the mountains. So yeah, we're getting to the scenic route. I uh, officially have lost all contact with Jack. It was so depressing. I texted him this morning and my dad's pointing at the mountains again. They, they, get, they get it. They see the mountains, but... I texted Jack this morning and the, you know, when you text an iPhone and when it goes green, it's like the phone's off. So that's what I got. A green message sent to him. Like he had texted me last night when he was about five miles to um, the base. And then he was like, hey, I'm in LA Focus. I'll text you as soon as I can. And then he never texted me back. It was so depressing. And so I know. I'm gonna go to Dad, you're not even listening to my sad story about my dad's over here talking about wanting to go to a vineyard, and here I am, sad and depressed that Jack isn't texting me. Well, uh, a glass of wine, and discuss it. A glass of wine and and cheers to Jack, probably getting roasted at basic training right now. Big time. Big time. Yeah, a lot of a lot of our family is military, or like my dad did Air Force, and so they're all reminiscing on their times and telling Jack all the advice. And my dad said that he was gonna get roasted. What did? What was like the most roastable thing that happened to you when you were in the Air Force? Do you remember? So in the bunk bed. Talk louder. So in the bunk bed, when you get up, you have to fold your towel a specific way, and it's folded in the front of the bunk bed, and you stand at attention. When you come by, mine was off probably one millionth of an inch off. <laughs> And I got yelled right to my face for like 10 minutes nonstop. What did you do, like two years in the Air Force? Two years. My brother is a Marine. He did a lot of years with that. But yeah, I guess it's different when like your fiance or whatever is gone. Cause I'm just so used to him texting me. And now no one's texting me. My dad's driving off the road. 
pray for us. Will I make it there alive? That's the question of the hour. I've driven most of this. We have stopped like every hour on the hour. We've both been really bad. We've been getting like waters and coffees. We were originally supposed to make it to Pennsylvania at 8.30 and now we're making it at 10. That's how much time we've taken, but it's okay. It's nice out. Oh, good. Nothing in there. <laughs> Thank God, because yeah, like, when you get next to it like this, those cows are like spitting stuff. Oh, do they really? Yeah, you see all that stuff? The cow, they, they spit through that? Don't, aren't they muzzled? Even with the traffic delay, we're so... Ah, <sighs> the 10 hour drive is done. 10.45, we made it to Pennsylvania. I'm ready to go to bed. Literally ready to go to bed. My dad's like five steps ahead of me because um, I had to run back. I literally left the phone on top of my car. That's how tired I am, but we made it. And we only have three and a half hours tomorrow, so it'll be super easy. So yeah, good night. We are in hour one of three and a half to the last part of this long, long, long drive to Cold Spring, New York. We got our Duncan. Dad, how was my order today? Very good. Very good. In the first vlog I did, I had my dad with me and he said that you need a college credit course to get the coffee I get. How rude. But the Dunkin' we went to had the little kiosk and you just typed it in on there, it was super easy. I feel like not all Dunkins have that. We are passing, out, we're close to Allentown, Pennsylvania, or do we just pass through it? We're still going toward it. Going towards Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we are getting to New York a lot earlier than expected. So that'll be that. My uncle might come visit forcing my dad to drive. I did one hour, but I did the whole rest of the drive last night while he just sat here as the passenger princess. Do you know that? You're a passenger princess. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? Concentrating. It's concentrating. He talks so low when I'm vlogging too. I always tell him to speak up. What does he do? Whispers. I'm so ready to not have to do a long drive ever again in my life. And I'm ready to start unloading the rest of this car, our car. The pickup is so slow because my poor Jetta is like crammed. The whole trunk is crammed. This back seat is crammed. I'm ready to unload everything. Guys, the last 30 minutes of my drive and I think I'm officially a New York resident because I got my easy pass. Never in a million years did I think I was gonna have to get this stupid easy pass because my whole family's from New York. I was born in New York, so I'm very accustomed. I know what the heck an easy pass is, but I was like, I'm never gonna have to get one of these. And lo and behold, here I am today. What's today's date? June 1st. June 1st, I'm an official New York resident. But I did have to, when I got this, I had to write down my Florida address because I had to match your license and I still have my Florida one. I don't think I'm gonna change it soon. So here we are, officially official. Another exciting thing about June 1st today is my parents' home in Florida is officially on the market. It's a sad day for me because I've lived in that home since we moved there from New York when I was three years old. It's the pool that really sells this whole thing and it literally looks like you're in a jungle. And um, the real estate team that my parents are working with, they are amazing. They hired this, or they, they have a video team and they created this like promo with the house and they got a mermaid there. And the mermaid was there for the shoot and my dad was living for this day. Meet the mermaid. For the marketing of the home that was done last week, you know, last week her team showed up, her whole real estate team, Jamie Seneca's real estate team showed up, and she had a photographer, videographer. They did drone the house, and the mermaid showed up. It was pretty cool. They put her in a pool. It was pretty exciting. I mean, it was, I thought it was clever. Well, it was funny because I weren't we together when Jamie called you and she said, "Hey, are you open to the idea of having a mermaid come for the marketing?" And my dad's like, I just got off the phone with them and they asked me if they want a mermaid here. Like a literal 
mermaid like they got she got fully dressed into a mermaid suit and it just sold like it just brought the pool to life to me and it was funny because I was talking to my mom and I was like how have we lived here my whole life and I've never thought to take like photos or anything cool like that my mom's like we need to get mermaid tails and we need to do something like that but I want to show you guys the video because it just came out so stinking awesome hey guys it's Jamie Seneca with reset real estate and let's go make a splash so right here is when the Little Mermaid music plays. I couldn't use it because of music copyright and I wasn't trying to get dinged on YouTube, but definitely worth seeing. If you wanna see the video, just DM me and I'll send you it. But overall, I think um, the pictures, the video, it all came out so nice. And while it's sad to see you know, the home sell, like the home that we've lived in forever, I'm really excited for their new home. They're built, tell them about the new home, where you're building. We're gonna get a new home in Westlake, Florida. It's a brand new city. So it's like 40 minutes north of where we are. Looking forward to that. They're, in theory, the closing date is gonna be in August. So it's all timed out. So if we sell this house right away, we get 60 days and for the transition from the old home to the new home, and it's, it's exciting. It's exciting. Are you not emotional? Are me and mom the only emotional ones? Very emotional. Very emotional. <laughs> I just, I think next week is probably like the last time I'll be in the home when I go home for, I'm gonna be home in Florida for a week before we, uh, before I come back and start my job here in New York. And that's like the crazy part because after that, I don't know if I'll like really be there because I'll be pretty busy up here. See what happens. We'll see what happens. But if you're in the South Florida area looking for a home, my parents' home is for sale and it's so stinking cute. Hi guys we made it to New York in my apartment and it's still like it's just a mess I really should have vlogged a lot more today but my uncle Dominic um you definitely you guys you guys have definitely met him on the vlog he came up that's my mom's twin brother um he's about like two hours from me and so he came up and my dad's here and they've been running all around with me and it's the, it's been the stinking cutest day but we have been like working so um as you can tell, like things are just everywhere. And um, yeah, I'm just like not anywhere near close to like having things put away. I also had like so many packages come in the mail. Like these are all brands that I'm currently working with and just other things like Amazon stuff that I ended up getting here. Um, I'm trying to figure out like where to put things because I like I love everything about this apartment. The only thing I noticed is that there's no like do you notice in the kitchen there's it's just, there's so many cabinets and there's so much space and it continues to go on and then we have um here let me just walk over here. Over here we also have like a bar area. You can see right there. But the only thing we don't have are like upper cabinets. Like there's no cabinets anywhere. Um so I'm trying to like figure I've never lived in a kitchen without a cabinet not that it's not doable like it's literally perfect i'm not complaining or anything but like i'm trying to like think in my brain like where do i want to put my plates where do i like what do i want to do with all that and the second problem is i did not know what was what when i packed my stuff like my mom helped me pack all my things which i was super grateful for but we didn't really like notate everything all, all she, it was very vague like all she put i'll show you like on this box it just says kitchen now that could mean a million things. And I was really hoping like my silverware, my pots and pans, no. That was not the box I grabbed. I grabbed like all my Tupperware and all my shaker bottles for the gym, like tumblers, like things that I could have gone really without for these next couple months. So then I went and I bought like a cheap set of just like forks and knives, stuff like that. And then I needed, like I still need to go get so much more stuff. Um, I just like a lot of it, like all my, my whole life is still in storage. It was really only what I could fit in my Jetta, which truly was a lot. I was very impressed, but I also needed to bring a lot of clothes. So I'm just trying to like figure out where to put everything. I'm also trying to clean and my dad and my uncle are like so insistent because my couch doesn't come until tomorrow, which will be Friday. So I literally have nowhere to sit because my kitchen table also in storage. So I have these like TV trays, brought those. My dad's like, where am I gonna sit all night? And I'm, well, we have a bed and we have an air mattress. And my uncle's like, oh, no, no, no. Like we're, both of them, two peas in a pod. They're like, we're going to get 
we're gonna go get a kitchen like an outdoor table we're gonna put the outdoor table just in here for now but it'll be something that will keep i'm gonna I'm walking i'm gonna show you it'll be something that we'll keep outside which i think would be cute anyways hold on let me flip the camera so it'll be something that we put right here so we're getting like two chairs and like a little table thing and um, that way we'll have something for outside because we have so much space out here and it's so stinking cute. And I knew I was gonna get like an outdoor thing anyways. So we are there, we went to Home Depot. We didn't have enough time. We didn't have enough space in the car. So I gave my dad my card and I was like, okay, just go get this one. And I'm gonna finish up around here. And I was like, okay, I'll vlog a little bit, but they're going to get that outdoor table set. So it comes, it have two chairs, and like a little, little table. And so I think we're gonna put it like in this space right here where my, kitchen table will eventually go. It really is so cute. Like this is the most perfect apartment. It's the best place I've ever been able to call home. The only thing that obviously sucks is like not being able to share this moment with Jack. Like, ugh, I just so wish he was here. Like I just want to be unboxing things with him and like setting it all up. Like I'm putting things in cabinets and I like, I guess it's whatever I'm doing. He'll, he'll go along with, but I don't know. Like. I'm just so excited to be here with him and I can't wait to show him everything. I'm FaceTiming his parents later and I'm gonna show them the apartment. They, they've they seen like some of the photos and the, like the vlog that I had posted with what, like basically what you guys saw. Um, but I don't think I've like FaceTimed them here. Well, no, I didn't, I've never FaceTimed them in here. So it'll be cute to show them everything even though it's like a literal mess and I'm embarrassed to even like show you guys this right now. Like this all is gonna be away. Like I hate things on counters. Like. I'm a very minimalist when it comes to like, things on counters, but I've been trying to clean, so I've been trying to keep things off the floor because I swept, I mopped a little bit, and I still need to like sweep and mop more because the front door's been open like all day when we we're like bringing things in and out, in and out, and so they had like bugs coming in and like, you know, flies. So just trying to get the nitty gritty stuff done. Um, I, so Costco, this is so sad. Costco is 45 minutes from me. And then there's Sam's Club 10 minutes up the road. So I was like, okay, gonna have to bite the bullet. Got a Sam's Club membership today. It was really cheap. Um, with the military discount, we only I only paid like $42 or something like that. So for the whole year. So I ended up getting a small TV because my main TV is in storage and we'll put that in like one of the rooms. And then I just got my internet bot or my little Wi-Fi thing. Also got a deal, they had some special going on, so I got the fast Wi-Fi, I'm so excited. It was like $10 more to get the fast one, so <sighs> the guy convinced me. The process of putting together the outside table is starting. Uncle Dom, say hello to the vlog. <laughs> That's all we get? <laughs> That's all. You're a fan favorite, they love you. Oh, really? Yeah, you're always on the vlog, don't you remember? Yeah. Yeah. He's so sweet, came up to help. Okay, you got the Looks good. Got the master hard at work. You're gonna hurt yourself. Of course, we have to have a bottle of wine ready to go for later. Yep. And we're also in the process of making espresso. That bad boy, why are you having 77? I didn't, I tried to put it at 74. Here we go, my sweet men doing all the hard work. Put your drinks on and shit. Does this have legs too? Yep. My it's coming my together. So that'll eventually go outside, but for now it'll stay here. Your dining room set. My dining room set. No, I have a real dining room table. Doing a little wine action in the new backyard. Love and life? Yes. Is it cute? Love what it. do you think about the apartment? Nice. I like it. And that's coming from someone who would tell you how it is. Exactly. Yeah. You I didn't like coming up here. <laughs> it was only two hours. And a half. Two and a half hours. His his son called us and said he would make it here in two hours, an hour and a half, because he says his dad drives slow. What do you I think about it? 80 miles an hour. <laughs> 80 miles an hour. But it's pretty nice. It's so spacious out here. You see our fancy wine glasses? Fancy wine glasses, because I only had one pack, but... They're drinking a Chianti. Profino. Profino, love and life. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go get some Italian food tonight. How about yes. that? Our favorite. I believe that's the highlight of our night. The highlight of your night is getting Italian food? Yes. So we didn't know what to do with the large box. And <laughs> we came home, we came back.
back to Home Depot where we bought it and I asked the nice man, I'm like, can you dispose of this box for me with all of my other trash in it? And the guy said, okay. So here we are, literally doing that. So yeah, just take it inside. The man said, all we have to do is roll it in and he'll take care of it. Love to see it. Also look how cute the mountains. So pretty. Trying our first Italian restaurant in Cold Spring. Caprizi. Amazing. What? Wow, that looks nice even though I won't eat it. That also looks nice. Just here to say the food in New York is superior. Lightweight. Lightweight? Lightweight. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, we didn't even drink. We're drinking sparkling water. But that's my plate. Finished it. This is Dom's plate. Finished it. Last bite. <laughs> done. Dad can't hang. I'm done. He still has some more. But not pictured was like the three appetizers we had. That was so phenomenal. Chef's kiss. <laughs> it's a rough night. I want to put this on the vlog. No. Come on. I want to see what it looks like first. <laughs> Dad, I have to post this on the vlog. It's too, it's too good. He refuses to sleep in the bed and we don't have our couch till tomorrow. And this is Jack's crusty little air mattress that I stole and it's a foot pump. I can't, I can't. This is too much. Good night. Hi guys, happy Sunday. It has been a really long weekend of unpacking for me, but I finally, that's my laundry. I finally have my apartment in somewhat livable order. It's still pretty empty because a lot of our stuff, again, is still in storage, but I got my couch and I got a couple other things, so I am gonna do a quick little tour. I'll do a full tour, obviously, once I get all my stuff, and you'll probably be seeing me like doing all these vlogs in here for at least the next 10 weeks, because this is where I'll be. Um, so here we go. So that was a quick little tour. This is the new couch I am obsessed with. It fit perfectly. I did end up going with one from Ashley Furniture. I think they had like a Memorial Day sale, so I ended up saving a lot of money, but it was still like kind of expensive. <laughs> um, it was around 2000, but that came with the shipping and um, the guys like putting it in here and like setting it up for me, so that was good. Um, this rug is not mine, it came with the apartment, uh, but because there's like some businesses down below, we put this here, so it kind of muffles the sound. I have another rug in storage, so I'm excited for that to come. And then we kind of just made this like a little workstation because my dad's here and then this chair actually belongs outside and Jack's chase will go here. This TV will actually end up going into this guest bedroom. They had this already on the walls, so it makes life a lot easier when we put the TV on. This will probably be Jack's closet and then my real TV and my TV stand will go here. So yeah, it's all coming out really nice. I think I'm gonna make this a coffee bar um, because we have like a little fridge here and I just don't drink enough wine to make this like a wine station or whatever. Um, but I do have some wine. I was even putting like wine down there, coffee cups up here. And then my espresso station will go here because Jack and I drink espresso so much, but I'm really loving it so far. It's so perfect. It's been um, a fun weekend, kind of like getting everything put together. I lined all these drawers um, and I put like stuff in it. I had to get a lot of things because just like random things like knives, kitchen scissors, they were all in storage. So that was frustrating because I was like, what do I need? What, what else do I need to rebuy? But it all ended up working out. I think I'm like good to go to live in it. Um, I'm heading to Florida today and I'll be there for a week and then I come back and then I'm here for good until Jack graduates. So this will be the last of my travels for a hot minute and I'm very excited. I also like the lighting in this apartment. Like this is from my kitchen. Wow, we're gonna be vlogging here a lot. Why did I start the vlog over there? I was trying to use like that, <laughs> but I think this is the kitchen window. So I'm currently in the process of packing for Florida a little late because we were literally leaving in like an hour, but 
I'm in my closet trying to figure out what the heck to put in my bag because we're going to view a bunch of wedding venues and a lot of my clothes are still in storage. So I'm really trying to work with the outfits I have. Um, but I definitely am going to be packing a lot of like swim stuff because we're looking at some venues in the Florida Keys, which I'm so excited about. And I know I'm going to be at the pool and the beach a lot. So I'm also packing like beach accessories, which include sunglasses. Guys, okay, so this is my spray. We're getting there. We're really getting there. I think I'm close. I just got these sunglasses in the mail from Sohost. They are so stinking cute. I want to thank Sohost for sponsoring me and working with me on this video. Uh, but these are all coming with. I am so, so pumped to wear them in the Keys, wear them this whole week in Florida. They are a perfect summer lookbook uh, with Sohost glasses. So whether you're looking for a subtle retro style or something more statement making, they have a bunch. They have so many online. And like what I love most about these sunglasses is that they're cheap and affordable. I think like the most expensive one on there is like 30 bucks. They range from like 15 to 30 bucks. I know they have a sale going on right now. Um, and I'm just obsessed with them. They're like lightweight. I know I can take these to the beach and I don't have to worry about losing a pair of expensive sunglasses. I always lose sunglasses and I definitely don't want to lose them, especially when I'm touring some venues. So I'm bringing these three. I think these will be cute. I'm, this is like totally not one that I normally would get. Um, but I think these will be really fun on the beach. I think it'll look cute with a bikini. It's different. I wanted to try something new and they just have so many styles and options. So these are all the sunglasses I got. I have a pair of blue light glasses coming on the way. I'm really trying to effort wearing blue light glasses, especially as I start my new job. I'm gonna be on my phone a lot with you know marketing and social media. So getting those and I will show you guys those once they come. They also have men's glasses. So I'm thinking about getting a pair for Jack, especially once he comes home from basic training because he literally broke his sun one pair of sunglasses right before basic training. Uh, I'm gonna link all the sunglasses down below and check them out because they're so stinking cute. They're affordable, great looks, and lots of variety on there. Dad, how you feeling after a long weekend? Very balls and then it's on the, I'm on, what is it? Highway 9 or something? Highway. Right towards Astoria? And we're driving hitting, 200 miles an hour because everybody here drives so fast. We're not driving to We're driving 65 miles an 70. hour. Oh, 70. Um, so we're heading to Astoria. We're going to go pick up um, some like pastries or bread or whatever because we're going to my aunt's house. And then um, she's cooking, which is so good. She has the best food. And then um, we're going to go to the airport. Um, and then... We are gonna go home and I'm so excited because I get to see Oakley and Miss Oakley. My dad surely does not miss Oakley. Is that a no? It's a hard no. My parents have been watching my dog during this like transition time. So she's been living her best life with her grandparents in Florida and her good life in Florida is about to end here shortly and I'm gonna be bringing her back to New York. But not yet because I have a wedding in July, so my parents need to watch her for that. And then my mom's gonna most likely Shh. come up. I just shushed me so he could know where to go. <laughs> just follow the road. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have a wedding in July and then my mom's gonna come up after that wedding to bring me Oakley for good. But I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do when Jack graduates in South, uh, from boot camp in August in South Carolina because I'm gonna have Oakley then. He told me, he's like, I really want you to bring her because he misses Oakley. So I'm gonna try to find a way to bring her, not to, obviously not to the graduation, but to, but to um, South Carolina in general. So I'm hoping him and I will be able to leave graduation together and come to New York but we'll see what the army has planned. But it's a beautiful day in New York. I had a great weekend. I'm kind of tired from moving and packing. I could live a great life, never seen a uh, cardboard box ever again in my life, even though we still have to wait for all of our stuff to be coming in from storage. But hopefully Jack, well, hopefully Jack will not be there for that part because then that means I will get it sooner. So we'll see, but I have enough to live. I just need to go food shopping when we get back and then I start my new job. And yeah, that's that. I will be vlogging much more about the new job and all of that because I've had a lot of questions on exactly what I'll be doing. I'm excited to share all that, but that's coming in a couple vlogs from now. In the best place in New York City. 
Gian Piero. Gian Piero, great place. It's in Astoria. My dad found this. Look at him. He's so cute. This like literally made his life. Taking these back to Florida. These rainbow cookies. Yeah. Taking these to Italia's house. My aunt. And, and that'll that's that. that. And that's that. He was like a kid in a candy shop in there. It was a little, uh, it's a little congested, but we got what we needed. Oh my gosh. Look at how my dad parked my car. It's so weird seeing my car in New York City. Like, never in a million years would I have thought that my car, like, I would be driving in New York City. Well, I not that I drove, my dad drove, but just so crazy. Ooh, got the goods. I just got to my aunt's house in Queens, and of course, we, we come to an Italian style lunch. I can't with her. We offered to take her to lunch, and she said, absolutely not, she's cooking. Right, Zia? Yes. What'd you cook? Uh, uh, pasta sauce and uh, chimichurri. Chimichurri. What is that in English? How do I explain to the viewers what that is in English? Oh my god! Don't put me no things. Oh come on! No, no. Why does no one in my family want to be on the vlog? I don't understand. I'm like the boldest person, and everyone doesn't like to be on. But she got some fresh mozzarella. Made it this morning. It was made this morning. Fresh. Oh wow. I hope you guys are jealous. Just kidding. We're currently boarding the plane and um, we're taking Spirit Airlines and my dad ended up getting <laughs> the first seat. And so he calls that Spirit First Class, but the seat doesn't work. <laughs> so he's really mad about that, but we are boarding Spirit First Class right now, as he likes to say. And uh, here we are going to Florida. I will always pick the cheapest flight and the cheapest way to get there. So like I'm the person that will not even pick a seat and let them assign me, but my dad actually bought both of our flights to come home and then I bought my own to come back and then, yeah, but he ended up just getting mine. And of course, when my father is paying, we're getting bougie first, bougie spirit first class. So I'm in the best life, got my window. Hopefully we get to see um, New York City when we come up because I noticed the last time I, I flew into New York, you have, like there's one side of the plane that views the city like way better. So I'm really hoping I'm on the better side, simply just to get a video for this vlog. Isn't that ridiculous? That's like literally my life now. Hi guys, made it in Florida. It's Monday, woke up, enjoying the sun, enjoying the palm trees, enjoying my parents' courtyard because they're selling the home, like I mentioned. So this is probably going to be the last time I'm here. Uh, so I wanted to soak it all in while I can because Next week, my fun employment ends for, for the best. I need to go back to work. So I think by the time they're, they're gonna sell this home and I think by the time we come back, the home will be sold. So bittersweet for sure, but traveling went well. Um, brought some packages with me. I know I showed you guys earlier in the vlog just some of the PR stuff that I ended up getting. Um, I wanted to share with you guys some of the new phone cases that Casely sent me. One, they're stinking cute, but two, right here on the back, it says eight foot military grade drop protection. That is what I am looking for, my friends, because I am so tired of my phone cracking. Uh, it also has that built-in MagSafe compatible magnet, uh, one-year product warranty. The shipping was super quick. Uh, it says online, fast returns and it's made of 50% recycled material. I also know that they give back 5% to, 5% uh, on every purchase to uh, a charity every month. So this is the first case, little smileys. Love that, I think it'll be cute. And then for the second case, I went with a cow print because cow print's just in right now. It literally, oh my gosh, it matches my nails. It also said online that if you do go with like a clear case, which is what my phone currently has on right now, it doesn't do the yellowing thing on the side. You guys know when you get like a clear case, it yellows and I, I hate that. So I'm hoping these will save my phone. I need some good protection on there. Dropping a link down below in the description box. If you guys are in the market for a new phone case, definitely check them out. But yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the week here in Florida. We're going to tour some wedding venues. That's gonna be all uh, next week's vlog. So I'll share that with you guys. We're checking out the Florida Keys. <sighs> I'm ready to just like be sitting by the beach, get my last week of fun employment in the books and then go to work, go hard to work. And I hope I'm like, I'm ready to start work, ready to be distracted. And then like the next big thing will be Jack's graduation. So 
got a lot of exciting things ahead. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's like reached out, offered support, given advice. I feel like there's a lot of like military spouses on here. So thanks for all you guys do as well and your loved ones who are in the service. I really appreciate you know, everything you guys are saying to me. I love hearing your guys' stories, what helped you guys get through either A, a deployment or B, um, your loved one going through basic training. So any more suggestions, please put it in the comment box below. And if you are new to my channel, if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd love you forever. But until next Wednesday, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.